You know, I want to believe that these comments no longer bother me, and they don't in the way that they used to. But what they do is confirm something for me that I have known for a very long time, that Christianity in its current form has no way of surviving. And people will mock me for saying that and say, oh, you're ignorant. Christianity has survived for years. Not only that, it has thrived. But the reason Christianity has survived this long is because of its proximity to power, but also because every so often it rebrands itself. And especially for evangelical Christianity and conservative and fundamentalist Christianity, the way they've rebranded is to try to distance themselves from their toxic theology that's also hiding passive conversion therapy. That's what I call it. Because what else can you call a church who says they welcome and love everyone, but then gatekeep your spirituality? They basically say, well, you can't be one of us. You can't be a part of our exclusive Christian club unless you reject your lifestyle choices. Their words, not mine. And in that exclusive Christian club, you will never be good enough unless you love like, believe like, and vote like they do. And so, yes, I'll be okay. I can handle these comments. This has happened over at the Book of the Face, and for some reason, I have been pushed out to that side of the social media platform. And I'm getting hit pretty hard over there, but if you happen to be there, and you see all of these hate-filled comments, and they trigger you, and they make you question whether or not you should be deconstructing from this religious heritage, I want you to know that I see you. Because what they're trying to do is intimidate me to try to get me to go away and to silence you. Because the more negative comments that they can put in there, the less likely you are to respond favorably. Because on that side of Christianity where there's they exemplify there's no hate like Christian love, they will use fear, they will use insult, they will use toxic rhetoric in an attempt to intimidate and silence you and me. And also, this will give you a little snippet of hope because they may be the loudest, but they are not the conscience of this nation, nor are they the keeper of your soul. <sighs> Beloved, I do not have my head in the clouds. I know that things could get worse before they get better, but they will get better. We're going to be all right, but I need you to stay the course, stay awake, and stay strong. We're going to be all right. So when you see these hate-filled comments or someone comes for you, let's just keep our eyes on each other. Stay strong. I love you.